Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a two weeks one palette switch and it has it has actually been three weeks but we're just going to forget about that and just imagine it has been two weeks. But one of the weeks I didn't really wear makeup so it really doesn't count. I've been using the W7 Seduced palette for a few weeks now and I have done three looks with it. One of them I have on today but I'm going to talk to you guys about the first look that I did. Before we are going to do that, this is what the palette looks like. This is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette. So I have used 11 shades out of 14 which I think is really really good compared to I have only used it three times. So let me go over the first look that I did. It's a really cool tone palette so you can only do so many looks in my head at least. For the first look that I did I used touch in the crease because I really wanted to use the cool tones. I was really drawn to silk but I used that in this look instead that I have on now. But for this look I used touch and a crease and then I wanted something more cool so I used aphrodisiac that calls it right there. And I really really liked how that turned out and on the lid I used illicit, 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 illicit that one right there this dark coppery bronzy shade and then I used temptation in the inner part of the lid so this bronzy shade I used here in the outer corner and then temptation here in the inner part and for my inner corners I believe I either used my highlighter or I used oyster that shimmery shade right there I'm pretty sure I used lace on the brow bone as well I've used that for all of the looks really, but you can't see that on the on the skin. I think that was it and there yeah, and then I just used touch and aphrodisiac on the lower lash line. For the second look, I don't have the picture here with me, but I really wanted to use strawberries, this rose gold shade, and I thought it would look beautiful with aphrodisiac. So I just put aphrodisiac in the crease. Uh, all over. I don't remember if I touched up with a shade in the outer corner, but if I did, it mostly would have been touch or something. Um, just a little bit, just a hint of dark darkness in the outer corner, but then I just used strawberries all over the lid. And I finished with lace on the brow bone and oyster in the out inner corner. And uh, I think that was it for that look. And I really, really enjoyed that look. It was for a party in Copenhagen me and my boyfriend went to. And then the look I have on today, I can zoom you guys in a little bit. Okay, I just took a break because apparently my memory card didn't want to work. So here we are again. <laughs> I was talking about the look that I have on today. In my crease today, I have silk and aphrodisiac, the warm brown and the comb. I really wanted to use the curl, as you may can tell from the looks, because I have used them in all. <laughs> I have used it in all of them. Okay, side note, I really wanted to use Must and Fishnets, the grey and the black, but I didn't know how. I, I, I don't really know how to use a grey, to be quite honest, uh, other than in my crease, but then my, uh, my creativity doesn't go that far. <laughs> but yeah, side note. In the middle part of my eye, I have champagne, that gold shade, and I have oyster in the inner part here, and then in my inner corner, and then I have vamp in the outer corner, just a little bit to deepen it up. Yeah, lace, the matte beige cream shade I have on my brow bone, and then I have packed on aphrodisiac the curl onto my lower lash line to make it really opaque, because this just make a peachy shade. I really want the curl to come, come through, you know? So that is the three looks that I have done with this palette. I really want to use Must and Fishnet at some point. And if I'm going to play with a, a grey and a black, I know where to find them because they are matte in this palette. Um, and I'm pretty sure they are going to be great because these shadows are really pigmented and creamy and really, really nice and they blend so easy on the eyes. And they stay a long time and so on. They don't fade or anything. So they're really, really nice. So I'm going to choose another 
palette for the next two weeks before my battery on my phone dies. Last time a lot of you commented on me getting the same palette that I have already used so I just deleted the palettes that I have had in this project so far. Um, so now there are only the palettes that I haven't used. Too Faced Chocolate Bar. That was my Panda palette for 2018. I'm actually a little bit excited for that. <laughs> Let me go get it. So, here it is in all its glory. I panned this for the entire 2018. I got far, if I should say so myself. Um, I did not finish it, obviously. Uh, I didn't come close to finish it yet, but um, yeah, since I did the finale, I have used it a little bit here and there. I haven't like panned anything in it. Oh yeah, I did pan something. I had panned in every shade except one. And I just really wanted to repress something and it just, it was there, you know? <laughs> um, so it looks a little bit different than it did last time you guys saw it. So... It is Too Faced Chocolate Bar, and this is the state of my palette. As you can see, there are massive pan and something is repressed. I made a fringe shadow of white, uh, white chocolate, red, white chocolate, and strawberry bonbon. I mixed those two shades together, and then I just finished it. Since I did the finale, um, yeah, I think that is why I repressed some of the stuff. I repressed since the finale salted caramel, hot chocolate, this is hot chocolate, hot chocolate, creme brulee, and hazelnut. I repressed the, those four shades because they were kind of half full, a little bit less. This shadow down here is not champagne truffle, it is a mixture of these three shades right here. And I really, really like that shade because these does not show up that well on my lid and if they did they looked quite the same. I really like this palette. I am excited to be working on it for a few weeks and I played around with the thought about doing a palette bingo on this one. I actually did one. I started a palette bingo on it and then I just scratched that video because I really didn't like the look that I was uh, doing. I didn't even finish the look. So that says a lot about that look. I got some really dark sheets. So yeah, this is a dark palette. It is, but you can also make it really light. So it really depends on the shade you get. But yeah, this is how my palette is looking like for the next two weeks. And I'm pretty excited about it actually. I have thought about just try to pan it next year because it is half used and it is a not completed project, you know. Um, and I really like to pair it with some brighter shadows. So I thought about that for next year. I, I haven't decided yet because I scratched my Panda palette for this year, which were the Brights uh, palette from NYX. But I really like that palette with this one. So maybe I can pan it next year. I, I don't know. I don't know. I really want to be successful with a Panda palette. It's like I'm missing something because I have panned a palette for so long now. Like every year. For four, five years. I have panned a palette now. So it feels weird not to do one this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this small update. And if you have any ideas that I can do with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Please let me know if it is a palette bingo. Or let me know if you guys want me to pan it next year. And maybe with the NYX Brights palette. I think it could be fun and I'm craving something colorful because it is very neutral. Well, the Too Faced palette is very neutral and I can spice it up with some other shadows. My current Panda palette, which is the Single Ladies and My Mad Mad, up with some color as well. So let me know about those thoughts. Uh, my brain is going like this when I don't do much. Sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until my next one, please take care.